Angelica Schuyler Church, born February 20, 1756, Albany, New York. She was the first daughter of Continental Army General Philip Schuyler and Catherine Van Rensselaer, um, and sister of Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton, Philip Jeremiah Schuyler, and Margarita Peggy Schuyler Van Rensselaer. She had 12 other siblings, but not much is known about them. Her brother-in-law's being Secretary of Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, and Stephen Van Rensselaer. She grew up in her father's um, Saratoga estate, but often spent time in New York during her childhood. Um, Angelica was known for her personality and charming nature. People described her as confident and a thief of hearts. Being the daughter of a political figure such as her father, she was exposed to political turmoils at a young age, meeting political figures such as Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and Marquis de Lafayette later in her life, which we'll get to later. She was admired by men and women alike, her charming in nature making all eyes turn to her. Because of her father's rank, the Schuyler House was home to war meetings and political councils. In 1776, one of the many visitors to the Schuyler home was John Baker Church, a British-born merchant. Baker was on a mission given to him by the Continental Congress to inspect army supply records. Knowing her father would not approve of their marriage because of Baker's suspicious past, they eloped in 1777. They would later have eight children together and moved to Boston soon after. Baker would invest in shipping companies and banks, quickly becoming successful as one of the companies was appointed by the Continental Congress. In 1786, following the end of the war, Angelica, Baker, and their two children moved to Paris, France, where her husband became a U.S. envoy for the French government. She managed to charm everyone wherever she stayed for an extended period of time. During this time, she befriended visionaries like Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and Marquis de Lafayette. Two years later, in 1785, she settled in Sackville Street, London. She visited her family in New York on the way after her return to Europe. Because of Baker's job, she would often find herself interacting with diplomats such as William Pitt, John Trumbull, and Maria Cosway, whom she developed a friendship with. Upon arriving to London, Angelica became a fashionable group of social elites quickly, in which she hosted balls for the Prince of Wales, where she developed close contacts with Charles James Fox and playwright Richard Brinsley Sheridan, all which stayed in contact with her when she moved back to America. In 1788, with the intention of running for Parliament, Baker purchased a country home in Wendover, Buckinghamshire, where they lived from 1790 to 1796, where he won and served as a member of Parliament. During this time, Angelica was invited to the inauguration of George Washington, which she attended in America. In 1797, Angelica moved back to America accompanied by her family and children where they settled in western New York, where Baker was gifted 100,000 acres of land for his help during the war. In May 1800, Philip Church, their eldest child, selected an area of the acreage for a village by the Genesee River, which he designed to remind people of Paris. Philip names this village Angelica after his mother. In 1806, Angelica and Baker started construction on a 30-room mansion nearby called Bevedere, which still stands to this day. They originally intended to make it their summer home, but it ended up being the home of Philip and Anna Church in 1810 when it was mostly complete. Sadly, on March 13th, 1814, Angelica Schuyler passed away. She was buried in Trinity Churchyard, near her sister and brother-in-law, which was her dying wish. After her death, Baker moved back to England, where he died three years later. She has been named America's first heartthrob. Personally, I think her death was a tragedy and was much too soon. She was a strong, intelligent woman who should have had more time. Now, all we can do is hope that people can learn and take inspiration from this amazing woman. My wish is for the village Angelica to continue standing and for us to continue to learn from her because everyone deserves to finish their story.